Om Namah Shivaya. My name is Nirmala Chaitanya. Welcome to the video series on the five points of yoga as taught by Swami Vishnu Devananda. In this series of videos, you'll learn how to keep the body healthy, the mind more peaceful, and ultimately to achieve more happiness. Welcome. Today we're talking about the five points of yoga. And the five points of yoga is the teaching of our, uh, our guru, Swami Vishnu Devananda. And he came to the West in 1957, actually, to North America. And his first experience was to buy a car, actually, and drive across the, the continent and sort of observe people's lives, what their lives were like. Um, his big observation, actually, was that people were under a lot of stress here. And so he thought to himself, how do I teach the teaching of yoga, which is quite vast, how do I teach it to these people and, and uh, who seem to have you know, quite stressful lives? And perhaps also he was thinking, you know, maybe they won't accept some of these teachings or maybe some things will be challenging for them. So he came up with what he calls the five points of yoga. And uh, they are five different practices, which if you do a little bit of each of them, you gradually get a perspective of the bigger picture of yoga, actually. So the five points of yoga are first, uh, proper exercise, and that is, uh, we have a Sanskrit word for it, that is asana. And asana means um, a posture. The actual meaning of the word is, um, the root is to sit down. So it means when I sit down, I, I become a little comfortable. At least for a short time, I take a particular seat and I feel comfortable there. So that is the first. The next is proper breathing, which uh, in Sanskrit we say is pranayama. And the two words are there, prana, which means the life force um, within, the, within the person, like the divine energies. And then yama means, which means to restrain or control that a little bit. So, and, but for our purpose, that means breathing exercises. So um, the second point is, is proper breathing or pranayama. The third is proper relaxation. And for that, we use the Sanskrit word shavasana. So that word actually means uh, like corpse pose. So it means there may, maybe there are many things that we do to relax, but to relax properly, we need to be sort of horizontal and going through a mental process of, uh, of engaging in that relaxation and, and focusing the mind a little bit. The fourth point of yoga is proper diet. And it's, it's a big topic, actually. It's not a small one. And proper diet, uh, we usually, two important words, it's vegetarian. And the second is that it's sattvic. And sattvic means it's, uh, it's pure, it's calming. So, um, and the fifth point is positive thinking and meditation. And we take these two things together. Positive thinking, if the mind is not positive, it's difficult to meditate. So we need to do a little work on the mind first at bringing it to a more positive place before, before we're able to meditate, actually. And so um, we use a Sanskrit word usually to refer to positive thinking, and that's Vedanta, which is a system of philosophy. Um, and it, it basically is a, a non-dualistic system of philosophy. So it means, uh, you know, I, myself, the individual, and the divine are one and the same. So that means that if, I, if I'm divine, everyone else is divine also. <laughs> um, and so in, in a way you can think that's kind of like the ultimate of positive thinking is that if I feel that I have those divine aspect within me, those qualities, then, um, then that is positive thinking. I'm understanding myself. So we take the two together. So the meditation is kind of the end point. And, uh, and that word in Sanskrit, we say dhyana or meditation. But all of, the, all of the five points of yoga are leading towards meditation. That's really what I want to do, is to be able to meditate and to realize myself. I have my own way of thinking about it over the years, which uh, helps me a little bit. And I, I tend to think of it as... Swamiji is, has planted five seeds within me and within, within each of us. And those five seeds, you know, so by giving us the five points of yoga, he's giving these five seeds or planting them inside. And then like any seed that we get, we need to nurture it a little bit. And how we nurture each of the seeds is just by doing a little bit of practice. It doesn't actually have to be a lot of practice. It can be a little bit of practice. And so in that way, I'm nurturing, I'm watering, I'm cultivating the, the, the growth of there of those seeds. 
And as those seeds start to grow, they become, uh, my, my understanding of yoga will change. So what seems first like a small seed, like maybe I take a little care with my diet, maybe I do some asanas, but in time that grows. And so maybe I don't have an interest in some of the points of yoga, let's say, Maybe I think I, I like this asanas, but I'm not so interested in meditation. Or I think maybe the meditation is too difficult for me, I'm, it's not possible. But if I'm cultivating those, those other seeds, in time my interest will shift also and will include the meditation. And so it's a very dynamic, very deep system, and quite wise actually. So in, so in small ways we begin and we cultivate, and then our interest, our understanding grows, um, and, and so we become interested in things and other practices that we may not originally have been uh, interested in. So, and, and a good example for that is sometimes beginners will come and they'll say, okay, I, you know, maybe I, I, even I'm interested in meditating. Breathing seems okay, asanas seem okay, but um, I, vegetarian diet is not for me. <laughs> you know, I, my family is not like this. It's, so. In a way, Swamiji has given us a system also that is a little bit gentle. You know, I don't have to feel like I need to come and make huge changes to my life. But by working a little bit, cultivating these seeds a little bit, in time, you know, I may start making different choices for myself. You know, so it's not something to worry about. It's not something we need to decide and change everything in the life. But slowly, um, we can become a little uh, differently minded, let's say, and be making different choices with these things. So uh, it's a very dynamic system, and it, it's, um, it starts small and, and becomes something quite, quite beautiful.